I would say, however, that in terms of, of his, uh, our personal relationship, I could summarize it this way. Uh, uh, he invited me, or I should say Eunice Kennedy, his sister, who was his official hostess before he got married to his, uh, to his home, his Georgetown home, for a stag dinner, or I think there may have been another one as well. And they were very gracious, and the conversation was very spirited. Uh, I recall, too, being invited to his wedding. Uh, this was later on. Uh, and uh, there were occasions when uh, uh, we had the opportunity of uh, uh, meeting uh, on, a, on, a, on a very impersonal social basis. Uh, but but uh, John Kennedy was not one of the group that played handball down in the gym. I did that. Uh, uh, he was not one that... Uh, were you any good? I was fair, but uh, not as good as somebody I couldn't play enough. So in any event, uh, uh, we had a good personal relationship in that respect. I remember, incidentally, uh, to show you how things can change uh, in terms of political affiliations and the rest, the first time that I met his father, Joe Kennedy, the legendary Joe Kennedy, uh, it was in 1960. Uh, this was before the nomination. And Joe Kennedy and Teddy Kennedy uh, we're standing outside the Colony Restaurant in New York City. And uh, I shook hands with him, and this is the first time I'd met Joe Kennedy. And uh, he said, I just want you to know how much I admire you for what you've done uh, in the Hiss case and in these, this anti-communist activity of yours. He said, if Jack doesn't get it, I'll be for you. Uh, Teddy didn't say anything, but uh, I hope that he felt the same way. Uh, I saw Joe Kennedy later, incidentally, that same year. I was on my way to California by plane, and he was on the same plane with a beautiful girl. Oh, she was a raving beauty. And uh, so I saw him, and I uh, shook hands, and he introduced her to me as his niece. I don't know whether he had a niece out there or not, but she was a beauty. Uh, but as far as, uh, as uh, Kennedy himself was concerned, for example, uh, he used to bring me, uh, he'd bring me a book on occasion. I remember particularly, and I still have it in my library, uh, he brought me the book To Light a Candle by Father Keller about the Christophers. Uh, it was inscribed by Father Keller. Uh, this is an indication of the kind of relationship it was. Did you consider that you were friends? Oh yes, we were friends. Not close friends, uh, but we were not enemies by any, uh, by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, we never had a hard word between ourselves, never. You'd started to tell about the, uh, the 1950 <laughs> campaign. Well, this, in 1950, uh, he came into the outer office. My secretary buzzed and said, uh, Congressman Kennedy is here. And so, of course, he came right in and he handed me an envelope. He said, you know, I know you got a tough campaign against Helen Gahagan Douglas and uh, the family would like to contribute. So he handed it to me, and it was $1,000 in cash. Uh, later on, I think it was quite embarrassing to him, and he wanted it made very clear that the contribution was from his father and not for him personally, but he was delivering it. There was no question that whose side he was on. And later on, after the election, uh, when he was speaking at Harvard, he said that he was not unhappy about my defeating Helen Gahagan Douglas because he had not found her one that he liked to work with in the Congress of the United States. Do you think that the money was, in fact, from him, or was it from his father? It doesn't make any difference. The Kennedy money is all in one pot, and uh, he, got, he had a chance to get it. I think, let me put it this way, unless he had wanted me to beat Helen Gahagan Douglas, that money would never have come, because I didn't know his father at that time. I'm sure what happened is that he told his father that, uh, well, this is one of the coming lights here, and his father was anti-communist uh, and felt because of what I'd done in the Hiss case, which was already under the belt at that point, that uh, he'd like to be on that side. No, I don't think he was an errand boy for his father. The money may have come from his father, but he wanted it done too. There was no question about that. He was on my side in that campaign. 